If you've ever seen the movie Pulp Fiction, you know this guy. I'm Winston Wolf. I solve problems. Introducing the Winston Wolf of Major League Baseball, Matt Brash. Brash is a reliever for the Mariners who is quickly becoming one of baseball's most lethal weapons. He leads all relievers in strikeouts, is tied for the most appearances, and is near the top in fielding independent pitching. What separates Brash from other relievers, though, is how he's used. Brash has appeared in the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th innings of games this year. That part itself actually isn't that uncommon, but what is uncommon is every time he enters a game, it's in a high leverage situation. I understand he has a high ERA in those spots right now, but I think that could be attributed to bad luck and small sample size. He's currently riding a 500 batting average on balls in play, and has just gotten some bad breaks in general, like this at bat against Tucker. He doesn't get the call on the 2-2 slider that clips the outside corner and then lets up a home run on the next pitch. It's stuff like this that has inflated his numbers thus far. Brash has a unique role in that he can be called on to pitch any day, in any inning, and in any situation. Since this combination isn't all that common, we have to look back at Brash's professional career to understand how it came to be. Brash was drafted out of Niagara University in 2019 and began his minor league career as a starting pitcher. After a solid 2021 campaign and a strong spring, the Mariners decided to make Brash their fifth starter to begin the 2022 Major League season. Brash had a pretty good Major League debut as he went five and a third innings, let up two runs, and struck out six. But unfortunately, he would only make four more starts before being sent back down to AAA Tacoma. He struggled to command his pitches as he walked 17 batters over 20 innings in his five starts. After being sent down, the Mariners decided that Brash would be used exclusively out of the bullpen from now on, which turned out to be a genius move. Brash excelled in his new role, and after being called back up to the big leagues in July, he would post a 2-3-5 ERA in 30 relief innings to finish off the rest of the 2022 season. And more than that, he actually became a key player for the Mariners down the stretch and into the playoffs. Okay, so fast forward to this past winter and we learned that Brash sat down with the Mariners front office and coaches and decided that he would stay in the bullpen for the 2023 season. This to me is the beginning of Brash's origin story as a reliever. This is the moment Brash decides to go all in on being the psycho flamethrowing dude out of the pen, checking his starting ambitions at the door and committing 100% to the role. There are a couple key differences between Brash as a starter and Brash as a reliever. The first is that Brash throws his slider much harder as a reliever. When he first came into the league, his slider was thrown around 84 miles per hour with a lot of movement, both vertically and horizontally. But now you can see his slider has tightened up a bit, throwing it closer to 90 and giving the hitter less of a chance to react. The second key difference is that he's using his pitches much differently from last year. He's effectively become a two-pitch pitcher by increasing his slider usage to 52% and dropping his curve down to 13%. He's also changing the way he's attacking hitters. So now he's using his fastball early in counts to get ahead, and then when a hitter has two strikes, he's almost exclusively going to the slider. And honestly, why wouldn't he? The dude leads the entire MLB in put-away rate, which calculates the percentage of two-strike pitches that are converted into strikeouts. Matt Brash is becoming a menace to opposing lineups with each passing day, and while I do think there is a path for him to start again in the future, this is a great way for him to continue to develop and find out what type of pitcher he can be. 